Not everybody's job can be contact free. And if you work in a field where social distancing can't be done, returning to work for you looks a lot different. In tonight's Rebound Report, Kristen Byrne has a story of a massage therapist and how she is handling the transition. When your business is all about being hands-on, social distancing is out of the question. Massage therapist Shantiana Lepak was worried about what getting back on the job would look like. We didn't know if there was really a way to keep us safe. I was, on, I was really hesitant when I first started. I had a whole list of questions that I wrote out for my employer. I was that concerned. Her employer, Massage Envy, and Delafield added policies to keep customers and the staff safe. These photos were taken before the pandemic. Now, Leepak and her clients look different. Well, we put our clients in masks. We wear masks. We were given the option of whether or not we wanted to wear gloves. She says she's gotten some pushback from clients not wanting to wear masks. I've had to, like, literally remind people throughout their sessions. I've heard from some of my coworkers that, like, clients were intentionally breaking their masks during sessions, not have to wear one. I would rather see us implement those policies and then continue to massage rather than have it just destroy my industry. Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation's secretary and CEO Missy Hughes encourages businesses and employees to get guidance from WEDC.org or to call the agency for advice. For close contact jobs like hairstylists and massage therapists, the site recommends limiting the number of clients in your shop and checking them in from their cars outside. Also sanitizing surfaces and the use of masks are encouraged. You're not an enforced right. agency, so how does that work if some companies are like, I don't want to do it. We're not in a position to be standing up regulations and to be enforcing regulations. On the other hand, if you put a safety policy in place and customers don't follow it, there are consequences. Businesses will often have signs on their doors that say no shirt, no shoes, uh, no service. And so this is essentially the same thing. So here's your rebound rundown. If you work in a close contact field, know your rights as a private business owner. If it's your policy to have customers wear a mask and they don't, you can refuse your services. Best practices for businesses are on WEDC.org. You can also call them at 855-469-4249 with questions. Kristen Byrne, TMJ4 News. Kristen, thank you. WEDC created a checklist for these personal service businesses. It's a way for businesses to see if you have taken steps to reopen safely. To find it, click on the link in the web story. It's at tmj4.com slash rebound. All right, now to Storm Team 4. Let's check back in with meteorologist Brian Goddard, who's been tracking strong storms. Brian, did the heat and humidity have any factor in what we're seeing now. Oh, absolutely. It was the fuel for those storms this afternoon. We were talking about the potential for a record today. We shattered that 93 today in Milwaukee in the shade. 90 was the record from 1944. And on top of that, it was humid heat indices.